what are the other advantages that you guys have picked up that um, specifically are attributed to automation? So from the survey, uh, to answer your question, 90% of participants said that technology is actually a worthwhile investment. And I think, I think that's changed a bit over time. It used to be, I want to call it, I don't want to call it a grudge purchase, but it, I mean, it's something that it's a cost that people didn't necessarily want because they, their reasoning is that, you know, people can do this on an Excel spreadsheet. Good evening and welcome to the Private Property Podcast. It is a weekday, it's 7 p.m. So where else would you rather be than right here with us where we have insightful conversations about anything and everything property. My name is Dumi and I'm your host for tonight. So if you are joining us um, on, on our Facebook page, thank you so much for always coming back. Thank you so much for staying with us. Mark the register and send us those green hearts. We really, really want to start engaging with you. And a special shout out, of course, to everybody who's joining us on the Twitter spaces. You know, the people on Twitter, man, my heart goes out to you because you guys can't even see us. You're listening into the conversation, but you are going to receive such amazing information tonight because I am with, as usual, a seasoned professional in the field who's going to be giving us insights about on the past topics in the property industry. I'm sitting with Johit Smuts, who is the head of data and analytics at PayProp. Um, Johan, Johit, good evening. Hi, to be nice to, nice to chat to you on a, on a a fake Friday. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for joining us and we are looking forward to the conversation tonight. Me too, me too. So we're talking the latest rental uh, industry survey results and this is for both agents and landlords and really just looking at all the players in the property industry and um, just talk to us a little bit about why you guys do um, this survey and what kind of insights have you guys gotten in the past and um, what are specifically your highlights for this year? So this is the third year that, we do, that we've done the survey. It usually goes out to those people on our database. So that's people subscribe to um, the paper of rental index and our users who are mostly uh, either estate agents or administrators or business owners. And we just want to kind of get their perception on where, where the rental market is. I mean, when we, when we do the paper up rental index, that really is from a, from a statistical data point of view. So it's nice to get people's um, thoughts and feelings about what they, about what they um, experience in the market on a daily basis. Sure. And, and what has been some of the highlights that have been, um, seen well in the, the trends that you guys have picked up with doing the survey um, as you said it's in it's in its third year yeah so i think i think the most interesting one is just kind of knowing what challenges um, business owners especially struggle with and uh, that's something that we've run every year and i think the most surprising thing to me when we first started was was how how few people uh, embrace the technology, and that's that's something that we can see has changed a lot over the last um, three years. So that's that's one of the highlights for me. Sure, and you know, talking about three years, um, we are talking smack bam in the middle of a, a worldwide pandemic. So we have seen how really technology has been helping a lot of industries, you know, to keep their businesses going, to keep the businesses model uh, or the business models going. So let's let's talk about how COVID has really forced people in the property industry to to be more inclined to using technology. Do you guys see this particular trend um, in in the survey? Yes, for sure. I think I think COVID forced people um, to to work from home, and then they kind of also forced people to embrace the technology. Um, many agents already had technology, but I think the extent to which they started using it during the pandemic changed a bit. And and what we see from our survey is that about 70, 60 percent, sorry, of respondents said that that automation that technology brings um, makes their business more productive. And about 60% of respondents also said that it is actually cheaper to use technology for automation than it is to increase the workforce. So those two definitely, definitely stood out for me from a COVID perspective. 
And when we talk specifically with agents, right, and real estate um, agencies, are we seeing um, them understanding the value of automation or because it's really just, um, it, it, I don't want to say it was force fed because of COVID, but now they're here. Um, do, you, do you see that they're realizing that value? They're seeing the value? You, just, you spoke a little bit now about um, them saving some money. What are the other advantages that you guys have picked up that um, specifically are attributed to automation? So from the survey, uh, to answer your question, 90% of participants said that technology is actually a worthwhile investment. And I think, I think that's changed a bit over time. It used to be, I want to call it, I don't want to call it a grudge purchase, but it, I mean, it's something that it's a cost that people didn't necessarily want because their, their reasoning is that, you know, people can do this on an Excel spreadsheet. That has changed completely, um, I think. Uh, and with people kind of reevaluating their, their priorities. I think the fact that automation saves them so much time that they can do, I mean, go play golf if you want, grow your business if you want, spend time with your family if you want. So that to me, I think shows that people actually realize the value of technology is not just time saving, it's it's changing your priorities and and growing your brand and your business if, if that's what you want to do. Yeah, no, definitely. And, you, you know, I always say technology only is amazing if it works. And there are probably challenges that come with automation and with imbibing these new technological ways of doing things, you know. We were speaking just not too long ago on the podcast on how um, technology is changing some of these spaces, you know, and some of the apps and um, the technological advancements that uh, the property industry has done. And I would like to know from your perspective, what do you think um, are the biggest challenges that come with technology or with automation um, as you guys have seen? So, I mean, there, there are a lot, um, and, I, and I want to speak more to the solutions that, that technology, the survey that the, that the top three challenges from business owners specifically is managing arrears, firstly, um, finding good tenants is a big one, and then lastly, growing their portfolios. I mean, they're fishing in a limited, in a limited pond. Um, and from pay, pay Prop's perspective, we really focus on helping with all three of them. So if we look at arrears, for example, we have multiple arrears reports that give so much transparency into exactly where your rental book is that it makes it so much easier to manage that. Um, an agent can send automated reminders from the system literally with the click of a button. They can send letters of demand. And these are very effective tools in helping them managing them, their arrears. Uh, secondly, uh, of course, if you place better tenants, you, arrears will be um, less of a headache. And our tenant assessment report, which is basically a, a credit check designed for rental agents, um, takes information from a credit check as well as rental information. So that gives an agent a better indication of the type of tenant that someone will be instead of just looking at his credit check. So that is finding uh, good tenants, that, that helps with that. And then lastly, if agents want to grow their book, um, I would suggest using technology that focuses on uh, offering benefits to a landlord so that they can distinguish themselves from the competition. So using amazing technology can really help uh, estate agent business owner with managing their biggest challenges. Yeah, and and I really think um, this the the movement also is warranted because if if you can't pay rent, then it's people think it's easier to rather move out than to have um, this this back pain that you would have to do. So let's talk. We we just spoke about. Um, um, landlords dealing directly with their tenants do you think that that commission or that that commission expense is is something that will that is worth it for the landlords and do you see this trend maybe changing because we saw it as due, due to lockdown do you feel that they are going they, they will most probably now drift that way even post the, uh, the pandemic so i mean yeah re commission is it's definitely worth paying that commission, and I think and I think a lot of landlords hopefully uh, realize that, especially during COVID. Um, if I can use my my investment uh, example again, um, I mean anyone can in anyone can buy stocks, 
you can yeah. log into a, a profile, there's the online options and buy your own stocks. And if the market's good, you'll think that you're an amazing portfolio manager. And if the market is down, you probably won't be performing so well because that's not your area of expertise. So when it comes to a rental agency managing a landlord's property, knowing all the laws and regulations is massive and it's increasing. And that is definitely something that a landlord, especially if you have like one or two properties, you don't want to spend the time to, to stay on top of all of that. At the other end, I mean, agents probably have a, a, a database of tenants looking for, for a place to stay. So if it takes an agent maybe a month to find a tenant and it takes a landlord two months to find a tenant, that landlord's property is vacant for a month. So if you think the, the rental income that he, that he doesn't get during that month, is that really worth the 10,000 Rand commission that you're saving during a year? I don't think so. Yeah, no, definitely. And they, there's a reason why skilled individuals are in the industry. So I think if they can, as a landlord, if you if you are a landlord watching us tonight, it's better for you to have someone skilled, you know, who can also manage your property once the tenant is inside, instead of trying to do everything yourself and most probably even um, having a bigger problem than the one that you actually have. So when we sp when we speak about rental agents do you do you have any specifics or advice that you could give to a landlord in terms of what should they look for in a re in a rental agent yeah so i would definitely i would definitely say find out what technology they use and and more specifically from a security point of view so i mean with cybercrime increasing safety of funds within any any system that that uh, transacts um, is, is super important. We've seen cybercrime figures increase massively um, during COVID. So that the security of the system and safety of funds is definitely the biggest thing. And then I would also say, make sure that the, the technology that an agent uses um, has benefits for you as a, as a landlord. Um, if I can take a paper up example, we have an owner app that's free for landlords to use. It offers complete transparency into, into a landlord's portfolio, whether he has one property or 10 properties. Um, so that is just for a landlord. And if, if, you're, an, if you're looking for an agent, those types of things um, could really make a difference for for you as a landlord. No, sure, definitely. And if if I'm a landlord and um, I've got a couple of properties and I'm thinking and looking at getting um, managing this this portfolio, do you feel that um, the market is about to change? It's about to grow. Oh, it seems like we lost your head there. Joette, can you hear me? I'm back. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so my question was just asking about um, if you're a landlord and you're managing a couple of properties, um, what what wh how what are you anticipating the market to look like um, in in the next two to three years? Because we've really seen a dip because of of course the pandemic. And are we saying it will still fluctuate? What are, what are the trends that you guys are anticipating in the next um, two to three years? So. I think two months ago, I would have given you a different answer. So we've definitely seen, um, if you look at the rental index itself, we've definitely seen the rental growth rate. So the, the increase in, in average rent prices decrease a lot. So um, year on year growth was below 1% for, for quite some time. Um, recently got quarter one stats. It's looking a bit better. But I think I think the effect that the that Russia's uh, invasion of Ukraine is having on not just the country but but globally, um, it's affecting inflation in South Africa and the rest of the world. That on a macro level will mean that interest rates are rising, which means that economies are growing slower. So you have high inflation on one on one part of. The, of of its um, uh, expenses and you have a high interest rate on another section of their expenses. <coughs> so Sorry. really there isn't a lot of wiggle room. 
So with that being said, I, I, I don't really see that the rental market will will rebound quickly. I think we can expect to see to see low rental growth rates for at least the next year. Um, but I mean, it's it's every every investment has its uh, has its pros and cons, and and this is mm. to me just one of the one of the possible cons is low uh, rental growth. Sure, slow and steady, really there, slow and steady growth. So we have a couple of questions from um, our, our family on social media, and I'll just hoi those in quickly. And if you are watching and you have a question, send it now so that we can quickly tackle that before we close the conversation off tonight. So Mishak is asking, can I use PayProp for my property stock file members to make their monthly contributions? So unfortunately, Fortunately, only registered estate agencies with a valid FFC um, can be a PayPal client. Okay, so um, I think that really just does answer that. So if maybe they are property stock fell, are there any ways that they could use? Do they still have to, to, do they have to register or pay use or use a real estate agent? Is that what you're saying? They could potentially use a real estate agent for that, yes. So, so automation of, of collections um, is something that an estate agent would be able to help with, yes. Oh, great. Um, let's talk also a little bit about the trends that you guys are seeing coming up, especially in the technology space and when it comes to landlords, tenants, and real estate agent, agents. What are we seeing um, come up as, as a trend for the next um, year or two that people need to start adopting, that they need to look out for, and maybe even some of the, the challenges that you guys are foreseeing? Because I, I like that we just spoke about um, the happenings in the world and how it might just be slow and steady growth for, for landlords and people who already own property. But for everybody else, what are the things that we should start looking out for? Sure. I think for all three of those groups, just knowing what goes on in the market is quite important. And I, if I think from an from a agent-landlord um, relationship point of view, a landlord shouldn't be expecting 10% year-on-year increases um, if he was used to that five years ago, because that's just not the market that we're in. Um, the same for tenants. I mean, know that you can expect high inflation, rising interest rates, and budget accordingly. So I think just, just being aware of what's happening, not just in the rental market, but in the economy. Um, and, and I want to say plan around that to make sure that, that you can pay your rent on time, to make sure that your expectations for the return on your investment um, is reasonable. Um, that, that, I would say, is very important, and especially in turbulent times as, as we're in at the moment. Sure. And anything specific for, for, for re real estate agents? Because I hear you talking mostly to tenants. Um, anything specific for real estate agents? For real estate agents, know what technology is on the market. Make sure you ask the right questions, especially about security, safety of funds, um, being compliant with all the all the necessary laws and regulations, and make sure that that is your focus instead of you know finding the cheapest solution out there that will will not um, bode well for you if things go wrong. Yeah. I think education, education is very, very important, especially in an industry that is ever changing. And there's all these technologies that are coming in the globalization that's happening. It's, it's, we are becoming one big village and it's very important that um, in every industry, we make sure we know what's on offer so that we can take advantage of it. Any last words before we close the, the conversation tonight? Um, Nothing that I can think of. Sign up for the PayProp Rental Index. The new one will be out within a month or so. Yeah. Um, and you can do that from our website. And other than that, enjoy the, the uh, public holiday tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We will definitely look out for the 2022 one. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to reading it. I really enjoyed reading the 2021 one. And hopefully there will be great insights there for the for the private property family to read and also just really know, you know, for all categories of, of, uh, of players in the industry, it's really important for us to stay informed and know what's happening. Thank you so much, Chad, for joining us tonight and have a good evening. Thanks, Timmy. 
And that is about it for tonight's episode. Thank you so much if you joined us on the Twitter spaces, right here on Facebook. We really, really appreciate you always um, staying right till the end of the episode so that you can not miss out on a single gem. Thank you so much for joining us and have an absolutely splendid evening.